Hey everyone, this is Kelly Janae with Ethereal Ecology, and you are watching the Reducing the Dosage series. I am on a hike in the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains. I decided this weekend that I really needed a break. Um, a mental break, a break from being in my house and in my town. I needed to get away. And so I went to this retreat center out in the mountains and I turned my phone off and I went out there with a buddy um, and we just kind of did what we needed to do to get grounded this weekend. And um, for reference, it is day seven on 12 and a half milligrams of Lamotrigine. And these last two days have been so difficult. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's a reason why I got out of my house and it's because I had this intuitive feeling that I needed to deal with some stuff that I needed to get away because if I wasn't, then I was just gonna, you know, continue patterns or change wasn't going to happen the way I wanted it to or whatever. And, and I get here into the mountains and my mind is just racing and and it's like I don't really realize it until the next morning that I wake up after the day I got here um I was I mean I couldn't go to sleep that night and granted I've been working so hard so hard I wrote so much like pages and pages like you know 30 plus pages of grants last week for lots of money and um you know I've just been really really focused on work and healing and um knowledge and uh gosh like it's just it's just a lot of information coming at me um and a lot of responsibilities which is fine because I feel like I'm working towards what I value um but it takes a toll on your mental health if you don't take the time to rest and do what you need to do um but I woke up that morning and my mind was just like and when I'm, when I say like my mind is racing, you know, I've had my mind, my mind races, but sometimes, wow, like my mind races and this was bad. I mean, this was bad, like manic bad. And, and there's, yeah, you know, I, I can only name like a few times when I feel when it's been this bad to where I'm waking up and it's like all, it's all negative stuff too. It's just like this inner dialogue of, um nonsense everything everything under the sun that I've ever acquired in my brain is just all of a sudden like blah 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 like to the point where I'm like I feel like I'm in a prison um in my head and so you know I get up and I'm like I slept like maybe four hours but I get up and I'm like okay I just need to go on a walk and I go on this walk and I'm just like walking and walking and walking and then I start running because and I hate running I just start running because I'm like oh my god like I can't stop thinking and, you know, I realized later I was so in, stuck in my head on that walk that I completely missed that there was a beautiful stream, like, all along the the path that I took, because I took it later that day with my friend. But that just kind of started the, the tone of the day, and um, I don't know, something just happened this weekend where I was just, I was just facing the fact that I am still so... So, like, I don't want to say messed up in the head, but a little messed up in the head. And, um, sick. I mean, this is a sickness. It was, it was seriously, like, a weekend of, wow, like, this is mental illness. Um, and it was just so hard on me, like, because I just felt like I've worked so freaking hard. I've worked so hard. Ever since I had my mental break, I mean, I've been working hard since, I don't know, middle school. Like, let's say high school. Let's say I've been working my ass off since high school to get good grades, to do this, to play soccer, to, um, you know, be in a relationship and figure out that crap and then work and then go to college on full scholarship 
get all the straight A's, have all the leadership positions, get the internship experiences, to get the travel experience. Um, okay, graduate, get a job, um, work your ass off in the corporate world doing solar stuff and then get out of there and then um you know and in the middle of all that i have a mental freaking breakdown and i just want to kill myself in the middle of college and so on top of everything else i then have to find a way not to die you know and it's like holy crap like you know i look back and i'm like oh, i'm so tired of being ill like i'm so tired of working so freaking hard to just be in this place where my mind is this much, this racing this bad to the point where I'm like, I'm like literally like on the verge of insanity. And it's, it was just a discouraging feeling. Um, to realize that. And, and, you know, things got better over the day and, and, um, you know, like, I, I had some really amazing interactions with people which, which really healed me and really, um, allowed me to sort of go through this journey of a day. It almost felt like a vision quest in, in, a, in a way that one day was like, had its own agenda for me looking at myself and um, seeing like, okay, like you're not, you know, you're not well right now, but you're better. And even though it seems like you are seriously ill in the head and um, it sucks and it literally feels like torture, feels like feels like somebody's just like dropping water like you know it feels like I'm being tortured by my own mind um and it makes me afraid because I don't want to um harness illness you know like I don't want to get any kind of like brain cancer or dementia or like it's bad you know it's like not okay for your brain to be like that um and you know I realize that it's probably a little bit of a withdrawal symptom but it's also just like unfortunately it's it's where my mind is at and I've you know cultivated so much meditation and all of these things and I've gone through this process of going from 200 milligrams to 12 and a half milligrams of lamotrigine I've freaking done an apprenticeship uh, under a blackfoot elder I did the vision quest you know I'm like <sighs> when is this gonna end um and on top of all that you know like other things come up like the the question of like, oh my God, like, you know, I was talking to my male friend yesterday and he was talking to me about, well, you know, my female friends have been like getting off of birth control because of this like psychological impact and obviously physical, physiological impact that it's having on their bodies. And for me, like, that's something I've been thinking about too. I've been in birth control for nine years and I actually feel like that might be a really big problem. Um, for what's going on because really what I want to do is release I want to release the bullshit you know I want to get rid of this crap that's holding me down and keeping me in my head and keeping me feeling tense and sad and, and confused and oh like like all the time just mental anguish and I feel like because I've been on like this I've just messed with the intuitive female cycle as well like I've just cut myself off from my emotional balance so now I'm like oh my god okay great so like I'm gonna get off this medication and I still have work to do because then I have to need to need to get off birth control and I just like I just sort of broke down I was like this is and and I I genuinely like in that moment just that that added thing of like that added step that I know that I want to take because if I'm getting off of prescription medication I I also don't want like my hormones to be all messed up. This is just weird to me. It feels gross in my body and it's scary. It's, you don't know what's going to happen as a result of that. And for all I know, the fact that I'm having all these emotions and things that I can't get out of my body, which is the whole point of having a cycle, um, is completely and directly related to that. And, you know, so I just, like, I had this moment of, like, wow, like, if, if this is never going to fucking end, pardon my French, I just, you know, I genuinely was like, why don't I just kill myself? Like, what is the point? I had a suicidal moment yesterday. Um, and, you know, I, I genuinely meant it. Like, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill myself, but like, it feels so hopeless sometimes. And I'm like one of the most hopeful people. Because what's the point of not being? And, I, and you see like the beauty in things and, 
you have this potential in you and you have beautiful friends and relationships and families and you see people who've done inspiring things and so there's hope but like sometimes we just gotta get at the end of our rope and just like be there and realize oh my god I need help oh my god I'm not there yet and and be with that without shaming ourselves and without also letting our thoughts our negativities take us away from the truth of the situation which is that you're getting better like you know you are getting better and and if I hadn't done all the work up to this point where would I be right now you know like I don't know if I would be right now actually at all um so it's just it's a perspective thing and it's really hard to see where you're at when you're in it um unless you zoom out and get perspective and also have supportive friends like my friend this weekend was able to see me and be like you're struggling right now but like I can see how much you have done and how much work you've done and how much you've progressed like you're doing all the right things and you are going to get through this and it takes a long time to heal it does and when you're on the healing journey you open yourself up to pain willingly um because you know that that's the only way through it that's the only way through it otherwise you're gonna live with it and life is never gonna be the way you want it to be so you know but on a positive note beautiful people this weekend like beautiful people who you know reinstated that I'm not alone that I have gifts for nature connection and and ecology and things like that and that I have you know that that the work that I've done shows because when you're when you're the person who's done it and you've gotten to that point and then you realize oh my god like think I'm almost there but like I I don't know and and I want to be but I can't control everything and it's just like no you're you're amazing you know and so like let's just encourage each other for freaking frick's sake like just encourage people because life is so freaking hard it's so hard and I think I think this weekend was important for me to like take the time to actually admit that because I have this habit of just I'm just gonna get through it like I've gotten through it I'm gonna get through it but like it's exhausting to do that and that's how that's how breakdowns happen because if you're not accepting something and you're not admitting to something it's gonna bite you in the ass it's going to find a way to show itself to you. And if you haven't gone through the work of, of accepting that truth, that life has all kinds of suffering related to it just as a byproduct, then you are, are, are going to get caught off, caught off guard and smacked in the face and pushed down. And that happened to me this year too. But I at least was able to see it from a perspective of learning that everything that happens in my life is there for a reason even the even the crap, even the bullshit. It's there for a reason and if you go into life with a learning mentality and with self-love and compassion and a little bit of faith in the universe to guide you, a lot of faith in the universe to guide you, then it's just a lot easier. Um, but gosh, it's not easy. And so power to all the people who are going through the process of just doing the work to be 100% authentic, to overcome the things that they want to force into our bodies to keep us sane and to keep us not happy. Are you like, are most people happy? God, no, no, no. Suicide rates and mental illness only went up in this country as as the number of prescription medications for mental illness went up. It only went up. How? What's that? How does that correlation make any sense? So this works? This is working? This is bullshit. It's what this is. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that I'm just harnessing a lot of anger and just like, wow, you know, this is what we do to people in society. 
This is how we treat them. So that they can then unravel it and try to figure it out on their freaking own. Where's the support, man? Like, we have, we have to be the support networks for each other. And that's why I'm so freaking passionate about sharing this stuff. It's because who is doing this? My psychiatrist just let me go down 50 milligrams from 200 milligrams to 150. And I almost lost my job as a result of it. Because I was messing up so bad. Because I was so emotionally imbalanced. She, they don't, they know how to put you on stuff. They have no idea how to take you off. It's infuriating. It's infuriating. And, you know, I want to release a lot of this anger. And I think a lot of it is just, like, education. Like, my way of teaching is just through, like, this, you know? I'm going through this. Who else is going through this? Are you going through this? It sucks. Great. Let's freaking still do it. Because what else is there to do? I don't know. I don't think there's anything else to do. And I can honestly say that I am such a better person. I uh, My character is just so sh freaking strong. And, like, I... I'm proud of myself for that. Even when I'm in the freaking dirt and I feel like shit and I want to die, I'm like, you know what? At least I have a freaking character. At least I'm strong-willed. At least I love people. At least I love myself. At least I treat the freaking planet with respect. So there's my rant for the day and that's how I freaking feel. I, I'm just... I, I want... It's not, I, I don't, I'm not asking for this to be over sooner than it needs to be, but, you know, I, I'm just grateful for the little glimpses of hope, um, and for the people who show me that I'm okay, like, on some deep soul level, I'm a, ama I'm enough. Ugh. So, yes, on that note be strong i mean like but don't don't be so strong that you uh, ignore your weaknesses like it's it's not always the best thing just to power through like you know i really needed to cry this weekend and i didn't cry all that i really needed to because i didn't really have the i didn't really have the space to do that but i know that i'm in need of like a serious like scream my freaking throat out into the woods kind of cry session and I don't really feel comfortable doing that like in the world and so I'm I'm like struggling with that um but you know find those safe spaces in your life and if you don't have them create them that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to be a safe space for myself let alone others let's just do that please because this is not okay it's not okay <sighs> well I hope things get better. They're gonna get better this week because I don't have to focus so much on my mind. I can work some. But I, I also know that, like, it's really good for me and for everyone to go outside. Go outside. Go on a retreat. Get the freak off your laptop and your phone. Get off of it. God. Like, you have no idea how much bull... Ugh, it's, like, gross. Like, all of that, you need to let go, and you need to go be by yourself, and you need to just look at things. And it's not always going to be in this moment of like, oh, wow, like, I suck. It's going to be like, you might be like, oh my gosh, wow, I'm awesome. It's, it's, it's all of it. Like, but you gotta, let, you gotta do the things that are going to help you be m mentally and emotionally resilient. And for me, taking retreats and going outside more and being with people who give a shit about me um, is is my saving grace. So I really hope that all of you have that. Um, you know, I, I love you all so much and I'm just so proud of every single person who's even watching this video because that means you have some interest in healing and that means you have some interest in a better world. So may we continue to do the work to move towards a place where people can feel safe, supported, loved, um, and fulfilled. Like, let's do it. Let's do this together. Whew. Okay, Pachamama, I love you. Thank you all so much for watching. Be well, smile, and stay positive. <sighs> much love. Bye.